the first official teaser trailer <laughs> for Terminator Dark Fate has finally arrived. What did I think of it? Well... <laughs> it's a fucking shit show! What you think you see, what you think you hear, that's what it's about! Mood and atmosphere. No, it's fucking garbage. It's garbage! Mood and atmosphere. Now that I really like. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Uh, that's right, in this video I want to give you my uh, first impression thoughts, my unfiltered first impression thoughts, if you will, uh, to the uh, teaser trailer for Terminator Dark Fate. Now, I got a lot I want to say, so let's jump right into it. Okay. What did I think? Well, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, I didn't hate it. I don't loathe it. But I didn't like it. I was left feeling perplexed at the creative decisions and choices that were made that resulted in this being, you know, the trailer that you release to the world that is our first impressions of a sequel to one of the greatest science fiction movies ever created. Because... Remember, they're asking us to forget that Salvation, Genesis, and Rise of the Machines ever happened. This is the official sequel now to T2 Judgment Day. Wrap your mind around that. And look, we've all seen bad trailers to great movies. We've seen great trailers to bad movies. The trailer in and of itself doesn't necessarily mean that the movie is not going to be fucking amazing. But, you know... <laughs> studios always hope that they stick the landing for the trailer because obviously that is one of the most important, if not the most important, uh, piece of their marketing because they want the trailer to affect us emotionally on some sort of level in a positive way that gets our asses into the seats. Now, whether we like the movie or not, huh, you know, okay. But by that time they already have our money. Um, and I got to say that this, this trailer was boring and subpar and, I just didn't like it. I, I thought it was, I, I don't want to say garbage. I mean, that's a, bit of, that's a bit of a hyperbole, but but it just was, I was less than impressed. I was expecting more, okay? And, um, you know, this whole gimmicky shtick thing that they've decided to begin doing in trailers now, uh, more on a consistent basis, where they have some sort of song that they slow down, and because a couple of the words in the song or a couple of sentences in the lyrics happen to match maybe, you know, or come close to matching sort of what we're seeing on screen or the narrative or whatever, they feel, oh, they, you know, why don't we do that, and it's this epic thing. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Look, the song that is in this trailer is a cover to Bjork's song, Hunter. And yeah, there's, you know, hearing the lyrics and thinking about the Terminator movies and thinking about what this could be about. And I get it. It's, it's giving us a tease to what the overall narrative is, but just execution wise, I don't think this should have been your, I, I know this is, Oh, it, it, and when Linda Hamilton came onto the screen, it, I, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel the impact I wanted to feel. I think what they should have done at the end of the day was they should have, at CinemaCon, I stand to be corrected on this, but at CinemaCon in Las Vegas last month, um, and if you were there, comment below and let me know, but I believe they showed a scene or a clip from Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, now, I'm not suggesting that that is what you do, that you pull an It Chapter 2 and you show a, a clip, but, but maybe you do. I mean, maybe, you know, you show us a bit. I don't know. I just think that maybe a better teaser trailer would have been... It opens up, we're thrust right into the middle of the action, right? And there's there's no music, we're just thrust right in the middle of all the sound effects and we're on that bridge, right? And we're introduced to these characters, but we have no idea who these characters are, right? Like, what, what the fuck is going on here, right? We're thrust right into it, okay? And you could say that, well, the teaser trailer did do that. Yes, it did. We were thrust into some action, 
But remove that, r remove that fucking song. Remove that gimmicky, shticky, lame thing that you're doing. Just get that out of there and thrust us right into the actual narrative of the action, right? And it's like, whoa, this is intense. What the fuck is going on here, right? Okay, and then it ends where you have that Terminator, whatever he is, you know, he's on the bridge and he's coming up to those girls, right? And he's got the fucking things coming out of his arms and, the, and then all of a sudden it plays out the same way. That Jeep pulls up, spins around like this. And then you hear right? And who gets out but Linda fucking Hamilton. That I think is the emotional impact, right? We see, you know, the smoke clear and it's her, right? And she starts wrecking shit up on the fucking bridge. But there's nothing but that Terminator theme. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, then, after that's done, then you seep, you know, you, you know, um, dissolve into the rest of the trailer with the rest of the music, maybe, right? You have, you know, that one chick saying, you know, who, uh, who are you? I'm Sarah Connor, blah, blah. And then maybe the rest of the trailer plays out the way that it does. Um, I don't know. I have to watch it again and see whether or not I think that that's actually a wise choice. But the... The introduction to this this trailer was just I I didn't feel anything I didn't I didn't feel the emotional impact that I wanted to feel and it was largely because of the creative choice made to have this slow down version of this cover song version of Bjork's Hunter and I just was like get that get that out of there get that fucking shit out of there you know there's a there's a uh, um when the Toronto uh, Raptors play, there's, um, one of the color analysts, uh, when the Raptors will make like a, uh, a block or something like that, he'll be like, get that garbage out of there, you know? And that's kind of how I feel. It's like, get that, get that, get that garbage out of there. Like, the, like it looks, it looks good. The special effects look good, you know, but that's, of course they're going to look good. This is a major professional Hollywood motion picture. Of course the effects are going to look good. Personally, I just think you need to own it. You know, and I'm not saying that you have to deliver on fan service through and through. I'm not saying it needs to be a movie that is just fan service. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, the movie has to stand on its own. Um, but let's be honest here, okay? If it wasn't for Linda Hamilton, you and I wouldn't even be in the slightest interested in this new Terminator movie. We wouldn't be. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger is not the box office draw he was 25, 30 years ago. And nor are a lot of older, you know, guys who were box office draws back then. Except, I guess, Tom Cruise, who appears to be fucking indestructible. But that's primarily because of Mission Impossible, right? Tom Cruise goes and does some other things. Eh, we'll see. Uh, it's not necessarily him. It's the spectacle of the Mission Impossible movies. Um, but that being said, I mean, you know, Linda Hamilton is the draw. She's the draw. That's why we're even kind of interested in this, because of the emotional, nostalgic connection. Well, own it! Market the movie owning that, right? Like, I, I just, just, just own it. Own it for what it is. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't and they didn't make a movie that can stand on its own, but just own it. You know why we're going to see it. We don't give a shit about these new characters. We don't know who they are. It's the movie's job to make us care about who they are. And at the end of the day, it's all about her. That's what it is. You know, and and I just didn't think they did a great reveal. I don't think it was a good reveal. I think the Terminator theme should have been there. I think we should have been thrust into the action. I think there sh I think the the introduction should have been more epic and you should have removed that god awful cover version of Bjork's Hunter that just because there were a couple of lines that happened to resonate with the plot, you know, who, who cares? Who fucking cares? Yeah, but it, it's, 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 it's like this artsy fartsy style, but I don't care. I don't want artsy fartsy. It's a Terminator movie. I want da dun 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 da dun 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 That's what I want. That's what we want. When she comes on screen for the first time in nearly 30 years as Sarah Connor, da dun 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 That's what you want. That's what we needed. Not some cover version of Bjork's Hunter in some melancholy emo sort of presentation. Nah, get, get that garbage out of there! That's how I feel about it. The only thing that really kept me, the only thing that was cool about the trailer was Linda Hamilton. 
because we've seen everything before. You know, the special effects are not revolutionary anymore. They're not interesting anymore. They're not dynamic anymore, right? You know, we've seen this before. I mean, the effects in T3 were amazing. The effects in Salvation were amazing. The effects in Genesis were fucking amazing. Whether you like the movie or not, that's a different story, but you cannot deny that the effects were top-notch out fucking standing. So this whole idea of showing us the effects of, you know, so what? There's nothing proprietary about these effects anymore, which is why it's really got to come down to Linda Hamilton at the end of the day. Own it. You know, make a movie that stands on its own, but in its marketing, own it. Own that marketing, man. Fucking own it. Da-dun, dun, da-dun. Da-dun, dun, da-dun. Don't own it. Own that shit. They didn't. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, future trailers and TV spots won't, but as a first teaser, tra I find it so funny they're calling it. Look, teaser trailers are not what they used to be. It's not a teaser trailer. It's a trailer. A two and a half minute trailer is a trailer. I think the reason why we've sort of entered this era now where t even teaser trailers are two and a half minutes long is because... <sighs> They're not giving everything away in terms of narrative or story. They're just showing a lot of scenes, but you're not really getting a, you, you get a sense of maybe what's going on, but not a full sense of what's, you know, going on. And really at the end of the day, well, that's what a trailer should be anyway. I don't want to watch the whole fucking movie in your trailer, right? So it's, it's not, it's a, it is a trailer. Look, the quintessential example of a teaser trailer is that Ghostbusters trailer that, that surprised everybody that dropped, um, a couple of months ago where, you know, you hear the music from the first movie and then you go into the barn and you see Ecto-1 and then you hear the original sound effects of the proton packs, right? You know, and then it just stops, right? It says Ghostbusters 2020. Now that is a teaser trailer. That's what teaser trailers used to be. Now, studios, your first trailer is not called a teaser trailer by default. Well, it's our first trailer, so we'll, so we'll call it a teaser trailer. No, 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 no. Anyways, folks, that's how I feel about it. Um, doesn't mean the movie's not going to be good, but I really think they missed the bar. They missed, they missed a wonderful opportunity to be able to really excite us for the return of one of the greatest female cinematic icons in motion picture history, especially when it comes to science fiction. And um, they just didn't do it for me. And I could keep going, but uh, that's the ballpark of what I talked about here is, is, is the reasons why. I just think the presentation was lackluster and too gimmicky and shticky and emo-y and just like, get get that out of there, man. There's there's other ways there's other ways that you could have done it. Do you feel the same way as I do? Were you like, ah, what are you doing? Like, why isn't it like, come on, like get me. Or were you like, whoa, fucking yeah. Somehow I have a feeling that very few of you were like that. But I don't know, who knows? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to know. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time and I'm not posting here. The links... Links to everything, my Twitter, my IMDb, my official website, Patreon, merch store, Facebook. It's all down there. Check them out if you want. If not, well, whatever. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Uh, missed opportunity. She looked cool, sounded cool, but man, whatever they did in at CinemaCon, I think they should have, I think they, yeah, well, yeah. Missed opportunity for me. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers.